Perhaps a sleeping pill will help. Oh, I don't think I'll need one, Lawrence. But do rest well, my dear. Yes, I'll try. I see strain here, here. I don't think I'll have any difficulty sleeping now. Good night, Lawrence. Good night, Lawrence. Go out there in the morning. But he's going out in the morning. What? I, I don't read you, Lauren. Rick, he, he came home past the cottage. He saw a light. Oh, great. I mean, he was mistaken. I said he was mistaken, but he's not sure. He's not satisfied. He's going out there in the morning to look around. He's sure to find the hearing. If it's there. Are you willing to gamble that it isn't? No. No, neither am I. Darling, what are we going to do? There's only one thing to do. Yes. Yes, you've got to go out there and find it. Right now, tonight. Rick, do you hear me? I hear you. Well, are you going? Sure. I'm on my way. May I come in for a moment, Lord? Well, I saw your light under the door, and I knew you weren't asleep. Something wrong? I'd like to talk to you, Laura. What about? In one sense, our trip abroad. But we did talk about it. Yes. And I found your reaction very puzzling. I thought I'd explain it. Not fully. And I wish you'd be quite frank with me now, Laura. Is there some reason you don't want to go away? Some reason of which I'm unaware? I can't imagine what that could be. Now, that puzzles me also. What? Your answer, Laura. I ask a simple, rather direct question. I get an evasive answer. I'm not an evasive person. No, not as a rule, but late. Laura, is something disturbing? You are assuming that I'm disturbed. I'm sorry. If I weren't so very troubled myself, I wouldn't be here. Laura, things haven't been right between us for some time now. I know that you know. Oh, Please really? let me finish. I think you must know my feelings where you're concerned. Yes. I'm not a very demonstrative man, nor am I as uh, articulate about emotions as I'd like to be, but I love you, Laura, very much. I find it a source of deep personal pride that you're my wife that I was fortunate enough to have won you, and I believe I was fortunate. Even though I know, perhaps, you don't love me. All I know can say that. Well, for one reason, you never say you do. But then, perhaps we're both too reticent. In a way, I... I suppose you do have some affection for me. Nevertheless, the fact that you're so often bored hasn't escaped me. I haven't been very evasive about that. No, but don't you see, Laura, boredom should be temporary. If it's become permanent for you, 
in this house, in our marriage, then that's a very serious matter. I know. Has it become permanent? No. I had hoped that working at the youth center would be helpful. It has. Still, there is something wrong between you. You're sleepless about it. I'm sleepless about it. And I want you to know, Laura, that my love is so great. I would understand. Understand what? If you found it necessary, expedient even, to conceal something from me. I haven't concealed anything from you. You're quite sure? Quite. So please... Imagining things that don't exist. I shall try to. 